Hey, good afternoon. My name is Roland. This is CF Moto Side Rider, and today I'm going to do a review after 2,000 kilometers on my CF Moto Z Force 800 EX. It's a 2021, and I'm just under 2,000 kilometers. I just finished doing an oil change on it and I greased all the grease fittings on it. I checked the air filter. I did a lot of little things, looked over the rubber boots on the axles, just maintenance. I'm going for a big ride on Sunday, so I just wanted to get everything ready. It was time to do it again anyway, and that's where we're at. Okay, so for the 2000 kilometer review, that's about 1400, 1500 miles. It's about the same as my last review. I am totally happy with this CF Moto Z Force. No complaints at all. Even the brakes aren't squeaking as much. There's just dirt and grime in the brakes and periodically it's worse than others. So that's all it is. The only thing that has changed is, you know, it was winter time when I had this mostly. I got it in October, rode it just a couple times in the fall and then I had to do some snow removal. I drove it around, bit of trail riding in the winter, as you see in my videos. So I guess the only other difference is, is I'm driving more on the dirt trails now that if there's a bit of dust, I'm going through puddles and I have been driving a little bit harder. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. So I'm getting a little more heavier on the pedal. And yeah, we're getting through, going through water. I went, yesterday I went through a creek bed. It was just having a blast. So I'm riding it a little more harder and it, it's holding up to everything I'm putting it through. So there was a comment on one of my videos about three weeks ago, and basically the guy was saying was, if you had all kinds of money, would you still buy the Chinese CF Moto, or would you buy another brand like a Polaris, Kawasaki, or Honda, something like that? And I just left it alone for a bit. I was just gonna kind of ignore it, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna answer this question. And we went back and forth a bit, and he says, you're still not answering my question. So what I told him was, is yes, I would still buy it because the quality is there. It's holding up to everything I'm putting it through, so why wouldn't I buy it? And the biggest selling feature is the price and all the options you get for that, that lower price compared to the other brands. Like, I'm not knocking the other brands. I've had Yamaha dirt bikes, snowmobiles. I have a Suzuki Iger ATV. It's a 2004, it's still holding up. So I'm not knocking other brands. I'm not that guy. I'm not gonna bash other brands because they all make good machines and they all have their own issues. But as long as CF Moto keeps their prices down and they put all these options on there that you can't get with the other brands, yes, I would get another CF Moto because why not? The value's there, the quality's there. My son has a C-Force, a CF Moto C-Force ATV. He only has like 400 kilometers on, but it's working great too. I drove it, yesterday I drove it quite a bit and I took it down some trails at about 60 kilometers per hour. It was bouncing all over. I'm doing whip de doos fishtailing. I'm having a blast with it. It's holding up to everything. It's a nice riding machine. So that answers that question. And this is for one of my viewers, Jim. He was asking me about the grease nipple here behind the wheel. He's asking me if I had a hard time greasing it or do I take the wheel off? Well, Jim, the first time I did, I don't remember what I did. I must have had the wheels off because this time I couldn't get the gun here, the this part here of the grease gun to fit on the grease nipple properly and grease kept shooting out. So yeah, I took the wheels off. So all I did was I jacked up the middle of the Z-Force here and both wheels come off the ground. I blocked one tire at the front and I took both wheels off at the same time. So I greased this one and you know what? For us older guys, because <laughs> we're not all that flexible, I'm gonna move the camera in here this grease nipple here on the lower control arm is a lot easier to get with the wheel off as well. So I'll show you, I just go in here like this. There's no wheel in my way. I don't have to be a contortionist to do this. And I just pump the grease into it. Three pumps should do it. And I'll do this one here while you're watching. I just thought it'd be a good idea to go over all the grease points one more time because I've been going through a lot of water lately because of spring and I just wanted to make sure everything is not doesn't have water in it and get the grease in there and keep it that way. So I imagine you could get a different grease um, 
fitting for the end of your grease gun that would bend like an elbow and do this. I don't have one, so I just took the wheels off. And I'm going to get up my air filter while the wheel's off on the right side at the same time. So, And like I said, it's easier to get that other grease fitting over there on the lower control arm. Also, there's a hidden grease fitting right under here. So you want to make sure you get that because there's no way you're going to get that with the wheel on. And uh, it greases this here. Um, this is a shaft that holds your whole hub on here to the lower control arm. So there you go, 2,000 kilometer review. To two thumbs up all the way. I'm totally happy with this machine. And I know lots of guys that have CF Moto Z forces and C forces, and they're quite happy with them as well. Even the U force, guys with U forces are really happy with those as well. So I'm gonna wrap this up as just a quick review. Um, if you wanna see videos on the oil change, I have an old video on oil change and greasing the grease fittings. I'll leave them down below in the description. I'll leave links to those where you can go watch them. And again, I want to thank you for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you on the next video. There, instead of dropping the mic, I dropped the stool.